In this video, I'll show you how you can spice up your Roll20 games by including hidden messages and clues that can only be seen if your players have a magic lantern. Alright, so how do we do this? Well, I'm going to start out by going to a new page. And the way this effect is achieved is with two images and a token. So my first image that I've already uploaded here is just this stone wall background, and I'll just make this a little bit bigger so you can get a feel for it. And then my second image is a copy of that image, but that has the text of the riddle or the hint or the clue or whatever cut out. So if I zoom in a little bit here, you can see these are the exact same stone wall. It's just this one has the riddle cut out of it. Now, if you don't know how to cut words out of an image, stay tuned. I'll show you that at the end of this video. But for right now, the way we get the hidden message effect is we take the complete wall and we put that on the map layer. And I'm going to go to the map layer now and I'm going to resize this image to its full size, which for me is 1920 by 975 set that and then I'm just gonna move this so that it's positioned properly in the upper left corner of the map all right there we go now I'm gonna jump back to the token layer and I'm gonna take the other image I'm going to set its dimensions to be the same size which again 1920 by 975 and I'm gonna line them up exactly you'll, you'll notice right now we can still see the words here but as I align this and I get it so it's lined up exactly the same with the image on the map layer, the text vanishes. I'm also going to make this into a drawing so I don't have the bubbles showing up when I click on the text image anymore either. Okay. Now what I need is a way to reveal the message. And for that, I'm going to use a magic lantern. Now I've already uploaded this lantern picture to my account. You can just google around and find a lantern image that you like i'm also going to make this one into a drawing and then i'm going to double click on the token and i'm going to give it an aura of 10 feet with this nice bright yellow color and now as you drag the token around the message gets revealed so what you can do is when you drop your players onto this page you can just give the right player whoever the one whoever owns the lantern give them control of this token he or she will be able to drag the lantern around find the hidden message and hopefully solve the riddle now you can get cute with this you can actually give two auras at once and that'll change the color of your text and i kind of like this because if you look at the edges of the the text here you can see that it gets a little dimmer at the edge, so it's like there's a dimming effect the further out you go from the center, which I, I think is kind of cool. Uh, you can also, if you have like a font that does runes like this, you can put your messages in other languages. Or if you wanted to put this in like Abyssal or Infernal or Celestial or something, you could find fonts that would let you do that uh, as well. And I'll include links in the description to the fonts that I've used in this video. But that's all there is to it. Two images and a token to get these really cool hidden messages in your games. Now I can't take credit for this. I actually found this on the Stupid Roll20 Tricks community up on Roll20 and I'll put a link to this in the description as well. But if you're looking at this and you're saying, well Nick, how do you create the images? Well, I'll show you how to do that now. Um, so what I've done is I've already got my my background here. I just googled for a stone wall and I found this. What I'm going to do now is open this with paint.net. Uh, paint.net is a free tool that's kind of like Photoshop. Uh, I'll include a link to that in the description as well. So I've loaded my image in here. What I'm going to do to start with is open up the layers palette and I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to make sure that layer 2 is selected. I'm going to click on the text tool here. And I'm going to select for my font, I want Bilbo Swash Caps, which is a custom font that I've downloaded. looks really nice. Again, I'll include a link to that in the 
description below. And I want this to be nice and big, so I've set it to 72 point font and bold. All right, now I'm going to type my message. So, you know, when is a door not a door? And I'll center that a little bit. There we go. Okay, so now what I want to do is cut this text out of the background image. So, what I'll do is use the magic wand tool. And I'm going to move over one of the letters that I've typed. And I'm going to hold down the shift key. And when I hold down the shift key and click with the magic wand, you'll see that it highlights all the words that I've typed. Now what we're going to do is move over to the layers palette and we're going to click on to the background layer. Make sure that's clicked on and highlighted. And then press the delete key on your keyboard. Now, it doesn't look like anything's happened other than the selection is gone. But if I now select layer 2 and delete it, You'll see that the words have been cut out of the layer that we had highlighted when we pressed delete. Okay, so now what we need to do is file, save as, and we're going to save this image as a .png. And the .png format is what's going to allow the transparency to happen here. Otherwise, if we save this as a JPEG, it would fill in what we just cut out with, with white. And that won't work. We need this to still be transparent. So I'll change this from... Uh, wall background to wall message, save, click OK. So you're going to have two images here. You'll have your background which, and your message, which is a, is a PNG. And now you can just upload those into Roll20 and do the other steps that I showed you earlier.